summer festival started with double refinement stones it's a great way to start one of the best things you can do for your characters to get anything and everything refined to the highest level you can get it to now we're going to need lots of refinement for that so one of the biggest tips i can give you is to get everything you can get your hands on everything you can that might have uh, a refinement stone in it anything that you can open and you're going to want to save all of it till double refinement stones the event and then we're going to open everything for double refinement stones that's what this video is all about i'm going to show you guys how to get through it real quick so uh, you know, I had to train myself when I first started to do that, exactly that. If you're just starting and everything you get, you want an immediate reward, that's how I was. And, uh, you know, it took a lot of effort to get me to say, hey, uh, it's a way better. I get twice as much if I save this for double refinement weekend, okay? And even up to like a couple of months ago, um, I had that down real well on everything except for one thing, which is the experience point reward. Okay, I still had to open that every single time, and part of the problem is because you get, uh, you might get a chance at 30,000 rough astral diamonds, and that's something you kind of want right away, but ultimately you're going to get more out of it if you save it. So we're going to start by getting through those and see what's in those. Uh, you're going to see there's a lot of refinement that comes out of it, it's well worth the wait. Okay, there you go, 10, fall of sapphire, there should be 5, but that just turned into 10. That's right off the bat, that's probably about the biggest refinement reward you can get, two black opals. Now sometimes you get these books, uh, that's okay, you, uh, you save these up, it's a lot easier to get an experience reward uh, now than it used to be, it used to be really difficult, now it's kind of on the easy side. So you just save these up and you're going to have a lot of them, and it's another solid source of refinement for you now. Two black opals, two black opals, you see them coming out, ten black pearls, you know sometimes you get those, there you go, 30,000 rough. That's the most rare one, and uh, there you go. That's a lot of diamonds now. You see, I had the uh, uh, the invocation uh, blessing uh, bonus built up, so it turned into forty-five thousand. There, another ten. I'm doing really well. Another ten. Wow, I'm doing awesome on these. Uh, I don't usually do this well, but that's another ten. Okay, usually the ten. Oh, there's another thirty thousand. Oh my gosh. Okay, usually the ten and the thirty thousand rough astral diamonds. Um, the ten sapphires. Uh, th those are usually pretty rare, so we're doing uh, better than expected so far. Usually it's uh, one sapphire, which is going to be two right now, maybe a black opal, which is two right now, and then usually those uh, five black pearls, which is ten right now, so we did pretty good. And we got a lot of stuff we're going to open for this, okay, we go stewards incentive package, why not? I saved a few of these, and I'll go out of my way for these, you know, uh, I was like, oh, I may as well save these uh, a few days before the event was going. Uh, so there you go, a few more black pearls for you. Now we got uh, Blessed Gift of the Gods, Gift of the Gods. We got these Expedition Companion Packs. I had to trade for these, okay? I had to trade a lot. It was a fragmented Kia Stars. Those usually sell for about a million AD alone. And then I think about 26 Ultima Marks of Potency and a Radiant Rank 10 to get those. But he gave me 101, so I'm not sure who got the better deal, but we got Chalton Treasures we're going to open up. We got uh, all these things we can get from Repressions. We got all these uh, Quartermasters rewards, okay? And uh, those are really important. You get twice as much if you, if you save them up till double refinement stones. And all this stuff right here on the bottom, we, that's all stuff new. Uh, we just got that from our experience point award, so you can kind of see how big it is. Okay? But let's get to it. What's in these blessed gifts of the gods? The most you can get is five during the whole event. They're bound to character. And, uh, you know, they're supposed to be uh, decent rewards in the gift of the gods. Uh, there's refinement that can come out of both of these. That's why I saved them till now. I wanted to open these right away, especially these Blessed Gifts of the Gods. There's supposed to be some really good stuff in it. I don't know. I don't usually get anything better than just the regular Gifts of the Gods, but uh, so it's more like 30 in my opinion. But let's see what's inside. So here we go. All right. So there you go. See, we got uh, three vicious and a, and a cruel. So it's like uh, you, we would have got two, but then we got uh, four total. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, Forge Hammer of God, you've got to be kidding me. I not, oh, no way, on the second one. Woo, okay, wow, that is just so awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that at all. I mean, that was a possible prize, but, oh my God, you just don't get anything from these. I do this event every year. I've never gotten anything better than, like, a, a Timora's like, coin or something. See, those potions, coins of Joaquin, those are pretty much nothing, okay? Um, divine injury kit, 
those used to be gold, but most people are VIP now and don't get injuries, so it's kind of kind of uh, strange they haven't updated those. Okay, so wow, four hammer of God. Okay, uh, yeah, and I really needed one too on this character. He doesn't have one, so it's uh, it's just amazing. Those are such expensive artifacts. I mean, they go the green ones go for what like three to five million or something. It's crazy. Okay, so if you don't know what a four hammer of God is, I see. Flawless sapphires are just coming out of these uh, gift of the gods, so that's why you want to save them for now uh, is the main thing. But uh, Forge Hammer Gun can really help you with professions. You can uh, you level that up to a mythic artifact, and it'll have a mythic tool that it can make for you to do all your professions. You can only get one uh, per character, so you can only use it one at a time, one, one task at a time. But uh, you get a mythic tool if you want to make something that you don't want to mess up. You get what's your best chance of making it. And that's why everybody's uh, really after that four hammer gone. It makes a huge difference. So that's something uh, cool. You get an Arctic coin. That pouch gives you uh, like an extra prayer. So uh, we're just going to sell some stuff here real quick. The only problem is uh, you, know, you open the stuff and then... Uh, you get all these potions and just all this stuff. I mean, that's just like, okay, just sell that for gold real quick. Uh, those are pretty useless. So, uh, you're going to get some stuff that's like, okay, who cares. But we got a lot of refinement out of those. Uh, it's definitely worth saving for double refinement. Like I said, you want to get your hands on just about anything you can that has uh, refinement stones or enchantments or anything that's going to double. Okay, so, uh, what's next? We got all this stuff. Fine injury kit. Oh. Well, this is awesome. Forge Hammer of God. I can't believe it. I'm not going to get over that anytime soon. Uh, all right. So, this stuff is uh, you can make in professions. Okay. All this stuff here uh, for leadership. Okay. You want to be doing a lot of leadership. And this is how you open these. You don't sit here and relish every single bag or, or box or chest. Okay. Hold down the button. That's what I'm doing right now. You hold down the button and you get these open you got a lot of these to open okay and you can see what's coming out paradots uh, marks of potency of various uh, ranks okay uh, and then uh, you got the chests you got the resonant bags the thaumaturgic bags okay all this stuff's just the same hold down the button okay and there you can see what's coming out these uh, getting a lot of emeralds out of these ones uh, not bad but uh, you know when I first started, I'd sit there relishing, well, what's in this bag, what's in this bag, you've got to be kidding me. Especially uh, the chest makes a little more sense. These are pretty much uh, about the same every one you open, more or less. Um, the chest, you're going to get a more of a mixed bag of stuff, you'll see in a minute, but it's the same thing. Uh, it's going to take you forever if you sit there and try to see what's in, in each, each single one. Okay, you hold down the button, you get through these in no time, and you can get a pretty good idea of what's coming out of it just by looking on the side of the screen. So that's the big tip here. Okay, uh, get these things out of professions, out of leadership. You want to level up leadership to 25 if you haven't done that already, and then be making these uh, before the event. So you have them stacked up and ready to go, and then you just get here, and bang, you're going to hold down the button. All right and uh, we'll see what comes out of it. It's a lot of uh, high-end uh, profession resources, elemental resources, but just all kinds of things. Um, you know, you might get uh, a greater mark of potency out of these. Uh, the main thing is, uh, I could open these anytime, get a lot of potions, you can sell them for gold, um, you, but there's a lot of black pearls, a lot of peridots, a lot of amethyst that come out of here. Uh, the refinement isn't the best ever okay but it's kind of weak if you don't save it for double uh, refinement stones you save it for double refinement and then all the refinement that comes out of here gets doubled okay now it's actually a pretty decent source of refinement and you can make a lot of these chests you can see i had like 500 and i didn't even really try that hard to make a lot of these for this particular event uh, we just had another one actually about a month ago. So sometimes I run these kind of close together. I usually have maybe more like twice this. But you can see like these elemental aggregates coming out of here. Um, just all kinds of good stuff. And uh, so these, these are awesome. You want to get a lot of these chests if possible. Okay, and you can see they're just coming out. Elemental fire, paradots, uh, all kinds of uh, enchanting... Uh, 
stones, all kinds of different things. Uh, you know, moderate enchanting stones, and then all kinds of different moderate marks of potency. Like I said, probably the best thing you can get out of here is a, a greater mark of potency. So I haven't seen any yet. We've seen a lot of elemental aggregates, so that's good. Uh, so you really can't go wrong. Greater mark of potency is kind of on the rare side. Uh, but I, I would say so are these uh, element aggregates and we pulled a few of those already I've seen so uh, It's pretty good. So there you go. Okay, it could have taken us like two hours easy if We would have sat there and, and looked at each one of what I get what I get uh, Just hold down the button and, and get through those. Okay now out of here. We're hoping for that coalescent ward um, I say these two. I mean, it's kind of the same thing the refinement that comes out of here is kind of weak, but What the heck all right preservation ward we never have too many of those so you got a couple pair of dots, four amethyst uh, out of that one. Um, you know, you're not going to have too many of those. Okay, now here's these Cholton chests. Okay, there you go, Sa sapphires. And there's also kinds of other stuff. You might be tempted to open these anytime. Uh, you know, all, those, all the salvage that comes out of here. But uh, black opals, sapphires, you may as well save these, uh, especially if you got them not too long before the event. It's a good idea even more sapphires and opals and aquamarines you can see all this is coming out so uh, it's uh, definitely a good idea to save these ring of the hunter plus three that's going to be some good salvage um, and uh, so there you go doesn't take long okay so we're getting through this uh, pretty good i'm kind of taking my time at first here we got a lot of lock boxes to open soon okay so that's going to be uh, a grand finale for this video, uh, but we're going to show you all, all you can do for double refinement too. So now these are all the things you can get with the Quartermaster's Enchantment, okay, it starts with like looted goods up to Spoils of War. So it's rank sixes, okay, that was the, the green one, that was the lowest one, okay. You're going to be pulling rank sixes and rank sevens out of all of these, okay, it's just kind of what else goes with it depends on, uh, you know, the, the ranking of it. Okay, sometimes it's just like simple potions. The higher you go, you're getting more like um, campaign resources. Uh, in this one, you know, you're getting like uh, unidentified objects, bigger potions. Okay, so. But again, it really doesn't matter. The reason we're opening these, I mean, so you can see Feywild Sparks, Vanguard Scripts. So in, in the Spoils of War, you're getting. Uh, a lot of campaign currency that can help you out too whether you've finished that campaign or you need resources for it to make keys or whatever it is uh, that you want to do but it's all rank sixes rank sevens and they're all getting doubled right now okay look at all those four rank sixes either get two rank sixes four rank sixes um, or two rank sevens during the doubling uh, double refinement okay now I need the campaign tokens to upgrade my tiger on this character. I got two on the last uh, double refining stones out of the companion packs I got. And these are the ones I just bought. So I need um, a tiger on this character. So he needs 120 uh, tokens. That's why we got these. So we got to get him 120 tokens. Now these are going to be more interesting to open because there's also companions you can get out of here. You can get a stalwart golden lion, crab, hawk, face spider. So you might get some really cool companions. That stalwart golden lion is a really nice companion uh, to get. Uh, those used to go for a million diamonds when they first came out. It's not such a big deal fat anymore. They still go for like about a hundred thousand though. Uh, pretty cool companion to have. Uh, it's the kind of like a, a tank lion. Uh, so anyway, uh, two, two, okay, but look at all these rank eights, okay? This is why we save these, okay? We got four rank eights, okay? Look at those rank nines and rank eights, okay? This is big refinement that comes out of these companion packs. Okay, two companion tokens. We're hoping for, uh, for a 30. Uh, you get two every time, no matter what, two tokens. So it's guaranteed, but you might score something else, okay? Oh, what do we get? Nothing. A face spider. Okay. Look different. Thought it was something. So we got a face spider. Got a new companion. Okay. But you might score 30 plus the two. So that's 32 tokens you might get out of this. That's what we're really hoping to get here. Because um, we're going to need to you need 120 to get um, an epic companion from epic to legendary. Uh, or it's a million astral diamonds. So it's not easy to get those companions upgraded. All right. Another two. Another two. Come on. Uh, where's my 32? All right, but you can see these are big uh, 
refinement pieces. Um, you know, it's all these rune stones that you really don't use for anything. Uh, you know, if you're using rune stones, if you thought you were using rune stones for something, these rune stones were from like mod two or something when they used to be useful. And uh, it's all about uh, bonding rune stones now. Um, you gotta get those bonding rune stones on your companion, get them upgraded. So all of this, all of these other rune stones are just for refinement. Okay, so you get these big uh, rune stones here. Uh, it's just tons and tons of refinement. These uh, these are big. All these rank eights, rank nines coming out. Lots of them. Look at that. Two more rank nines. Two more rank eights. Okay, so you just uh, you can't go wrong with these companion packs for refinement. Uh, you should get some uh, bonding rune stones out of here too. There's the rank eights now. These should be rank sevens. Now they're letting you have rank eights. So they're trying to help you out more. Okay, but these uh, the reason I'm opening these. Well, there you go. There's a bonding rune stone rank eight. So I was talking about and yeah, tons of refinement. Two more companion upgrades. Come on, I really need a thirty. We're not going to score in these thirties, thirties at all. Uh, I, I mean, we're at 70 now, so we're getting really unlucky with the 30s, honestly. We should have scored at least one by now, I think. So there's a hawk. we got a hawk and a face spider. So, all right. And some bondings. So that's cool. That's good. Uh, tons, of, tons of refinement. I'm starting to get nervous, though. We need a lot. I got m more characters. Excuse me, we need more characters that... Uh, oh, there we go, 32. All right, that's helpful, okay? Let's get scared. I got a, uh, another character that needs his tiger upgraded. So what do we got now? 106. We need 120. We need 14 more. Okay. That's not bad. So we're almost there. But still, 14 more. So there's two in each one. We got to open up at least seven more of these, okay? If, assuming we don't hit another 32, which would be kind of overkill, but that's okay. I don't mind overkill at all. Uh, so is that six? Countdown eight, ten. Come on. Oh, there's a 32. All right, so there it is. That's how it goes with these. Uh, you get it, and then it's overkill, and then what do you know? You're, you overshoot. So we got 57 left. We got 148. You know, there's going to be, uh, I actually need more characters, uh, I mean, more companions upgraded other than Tiger to make this character super good. So uh, they're not an emergency right now, but I'm going to use those probably in the very near future. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the same thing right, right now real quick. We're going to go way faster than we just did on the Cleric. This is my Grey Weapon Fighter. Uh, you got a pretty good idea of what we're doing. So now we're going to do it... Uh, real fast okay we're just gonna get through these real quick we're trying to get to those lock boxes okay so uh, we're gonna do a quick comparison here this is his experience for point excuse uh, experience point rewards excuse me um, and we're gonna do a comparison already I can tell he's not getting nearly as lucky it's uh, two sapphires and a bunch of companion books uh, so uh, hopefully this uh, changes a cleric got really lucky with these uh, experience point rewards this is a little more normal what I'm used to getting. So, see, I'm opening these way faster than we did. It's not making it any more lucky for us, though. But still, it's two, 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 ten. Uh, still, we're doing great. So, awesome. Okay, there you go. So, no diamonds. I don't even think we got a single uh, ten blue sapphires. But okay, whatever. Moving on, what do you know? A couple more steward incentive packages. Get through those and nothing. All right, uh, blessed gift to the gods. Another forge hammer, what do you think? I don't have one on this character either, come on. Uh, okay, so uh, Greater the Thunder's Bell. That's pretty much useless. Mora's Lucky Coin. Uh, yes, all my characters have those. All right, but see, we can still get lots of, uh, lots of refinement. Lots more sapphires. Um, you know, these rare coins are cool too. I know they're rank fours, but they're not that hard to rank up, and it's hard to get those rare ones. Brutals and vicious and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, see, that's usually what we get. It was really anything super fancy out of those blessed gifts of the gods. That's what I'm used to. 
can't believe we got that forge hammer. That is just so awesome. That just really uh, improved the value of my cleric. He's going to be able to do some serious uh, master. You can't really do the master crafting without a forge hammer. It's just way too difficult. You're just going to fail way too much. It's going to be so expensive and just such a horrible experience. So you got to have that forge hammer for sure to do master crafting. Um, you know, I have one on my main character, on my wizard, and he does it, but uh, I tried to do it on some of my other characters, and I got so far, and I just had to call it a, call it quits for the moment, because it's, it's, you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, so, that's so great. Okay, so here we go. We're holding down the button, right? We already went through this. Uh, I'm not going to go over what every little bag is. Uh, we're grabbing these. We're holding down the button. Boom, here they come. Okay, and uh, there you go. Okay, that was fast. Okay, Celestial Packs. Okay, we're just looking for that Coalescent Ward. It's pretty much what we want out of these. Okay, there you go, Preservation Ward. It's, no, it's, it's rare you get that Coalescent Ward, but it's a very helpful when you get it. Uh, so that's why I, I've been getting those lately, because trying to get these uh, enchantments, rank 13, rank 14, uh, also any of these uh, weapon and armor enchantments, you got to get a Coalescent Ward. I mean, you're going to burn through so many preservation wards trying to hit that one percent shot to upgrade it so you got to get that coalescent ward forces the upgrade it's automatic okay but you got to have a coalescent ward to do it so and there's my ardent coin so that was uh, my bonus from the blessed gift of the gods i think so all right resonant bags so the resonant bags are the best out of all the bags okay that you can get from leadership uh, or, or you can get these other places too, but these these are all from leadership. I made these. Okay, so you can see it's a lot more emeralds and a lot of more of the um, moderate enchanting stones, or even the uh, greater enchanting stones. Uh, so here we go. More uh, more chests, and you can just see it's an awesome mixed bag of stuff. Okay, just all kinds of stuff. Elemental fire, elemental air, elemental water, elemental earth. Okay. We got a lot of aggregates from the cleric. I don't know if he's gotten any yet here, but uh, boom, it just comes pouring out. You hold down the button. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff you get out of here, you need to do other leadership tasks too, like uh, those uh, protection from dragon scrolls, okay? Uh, you need that, that to do um, another leadership task. Also, these wands. Uh, same thing. So a lot of lead, a couple of the leadership tasks that are high level, you got to get the resource you need from opening these chests. So these chests are really important. Okay, so uh, got to get a lot of these. You can get a lot of other resources to fundamental lightning. You know, similar tempest, just kind of things. You might need sometimes, don't really want to try to get some other way. So you're probably going to get enough out of these chests. You really don't need to get them any other way. Uh, which would fundamentalize. All these things are pretty basic. Uh, you know, you can get them with guild marks. You can get them off the auction house. But you probably don't need too many of them. And you're just going to get plenty from these chests. And you don't have to worry about it. So it's pretty cool. Now when, if you get these chests and you open it right away, it seems like all you get is healing potions out of it. So it's another reason to save these. You save these up and then all these good things just seem to pour out of it. Okay? Uh, you open them one at a time. I don't know what it is, but it seems like a healing potion. Every time when you're going, okay, this is not why I open these chests to get healing potions. Okay, they're the lesser healing potions. They're, they're not the, the, the uh, ultimate healing potions. I forget what they're called exactly. But... Uh, the ones you can get 30 will heal you for 35,000 hit points. These are the ones right before for 25,000. So, and you could still use them, but you know, it's not that hard to get the 35,000 hit point healers, healing potions. So, uh, I always just sell them for gold and say, great, thank you for healing potions, um, whatever. So, there you go. More sixes, paradots uh, from the quartermaster's rewards. Okay. Now we're on to the Paladin. I said we're going to make this quick. Uh, and we're going to go through his stuff real quick. We're going to go faster and faster every time, I think, here. So here we go. Experience rewards. What do you got for me, buddy? 
books, not what I'm looking for. Now, actually, the books aren't as bad as they used to be. Uh, you know, if you open those books, it's almost enough to give you another experience reward. Not quite. I guess if you save them for double XP, then it's probably a lot closer to a, another experience point reward. It's kind of like you miss and then you get another shot. So <laughs> it's not too bad. You also get some uh, books for your companion. So if you got a companion you want to level, they might help some with that. Uh, they're kind of weak for the companion, but. Uh, I guess they could help some, so hey, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We hit some of those tens on the blue sapphires. So, I oh, mean, lots of books from this guy, though. Uh, okay, no diamonds. Okay, Claire got all the diamonds, I guess. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Got any steward rewards, steward incentive packs. There they are. Four. Okay, good. Doing my influence runs, obviously. All right, blessed gift of the gods. What do you think? Forge Hammer, actually I don't care, he's already got one too, this is my other character that's got one, so uh, I'm not expecting anything, but still Vicious and Brutals and Savage, Enchantment's pretty cool, Flawless Sapphires, uh, good stuff. Alright, one of those Divine Injury Kits, some people still need them, so you can sell those on the Auction House, uh, they'll probably sell, they probably sell for, I don't know, a decent amount for injury kits, I don't, I don't know. Oh, Celestial Mantle. Uh, that's just a transmute. They make a big deal out of that, but uh, it's kind of a nice cloak. You can make whatever cloak you're wearing, or any neck piece you're wearing look like the Celestial Mantle. So uh, It's just a transmute. We can take a quick look here. See what it looks like. So, all right, he's got, of course, I got in my palette, and he's got his big shield. He can't really get the best look at it, but that's that's the mantle. That's what that looks like. So, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, make yourself look good. Why not? Okay, going to get a coalescent ward here. Preservation ward. Two preservation wards. Okay, cool. So, you know, you can't get enough preservation wards either. Now, here we go. What are we doing? Going to hold down the button, right? Hold it down. Don't let it up. Just go, go, go. Get through these, get lots of good stuff out of here, but we don't need to waste our time. It's no surprise what comes out of them anymore, okay? We've seen it all. Uh, like I said, best thing you can get is a greater mark of potency. You probably see it go flying by here if we get one. Uh, if not, uh, you might miss it, but you'll see it in your inventory, so it's not a big deal. Otherwise, you can check your inventory for uh, professions inventory for all those uh, elemental resources. Oh, hey, there you go. Create a mark of potency, finally. Okay, so I was kind of hoping one. I don't think my other two characters got one, but this guy uh, finally got one. So there you go. Um, uh, like I said, it's more of a rare reward, so you can't really count on it. But uh, I, I don't know. It seems like if I open about 500, I don't see a greater mark of potency. So I'm actually surprised. Usually, like I said, I, I have about a thousand of these during a double refinement. Uh, but they're running them really close together right now, so usually give me a little bit more time to collect stuff. Usually when I get a thousand, it seems like I get like two, maybe even three of those um, greater marks of potency. Uh, maybe on each character even. Um, you know, not necessarily, but it seems like when I got like a thousand or more, I, I score those. I don't know, so it's kind of, kind of weird. You open them one at a time and all you get is potions. You open up more and it seems like the better rewards you get, so. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense, but I guess it kind of does. You're just opening so many, your odds of getting these rare rewards go up, so uh, that's probably all there is to it. Hey, there's another one! Greater Mark of Potency. Wow, okay, wasn't expecting two uh, from only about 500-ish. So, cool, we'll go Paladin, getting all the Greater Marks. You can see there's also lots of refinement and elemental resources and everything else coming out of here too. Moderate marks of potency also, so pretty cool. And then you go resident bags, just bang, and we go and we open them up. And uh, you get these in no time. Okay, done with those. Next bag, thaumaturgic bags. Now these ones aren't quite as good, they're kind of the least good bag. 
but usually making these uh, gives you a band clue and it makes it easier to make those resonant bags we just opened which are technically the best ones so you know it all kind of just goes together and you end up with plenty of each kind so there you go and then you get uh, enough of the different resources you don't have too many of one thing so and not a, not enough of the other so here we go on to our quartermaster's rewards and rank sixes rank sevens okay if you haven't seen what comes out of these quartermaster rewards this is what comes out rank sixes rank sevens that's what we're opening these for everything else is just a, a bonus okay everything else is an extra bonus uh it's cool it can uh, clog up your inventory though so it's a little scary when I'm doing this double uh, refinement stones and I'm on the clock. Uh, I always come in here, I think we had a little over an hour before this ends. So it's another reason why we're trying to get through this quick. Okay. So here's the other guy who needs uh, his tiger upgraded. We got eight upgrade tokens. So you can see I just grabbed the uh, 57 we have left. So we got eight, and now we got to get uh, the rest. Thirty-two! Oh my gosh! Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, so I guess we got all the bad luck on the cleric, because that's boom right off the bat. Wow. Okay, so there's forty. All right. So now we need eighty more. Well, that was pretty clean. All right. Well, uh, okay. I, my confidence just went way up. We're going to be able to do this with fifty-seven because we opened a lot on the cleric and. Uh, it's kind of scary that we're going to have enough to do uh, the tiger on this guy too. So, all right, my confidence just went way up that uh, we're going to be able to, to, to knock this out and, and get both tigers upgraded. Um, cool, eh? Face Spider, all right. Brother C32, more upgrade tokens, but that's cool. Um, all right, wow. All right, I, I feel like I can uh, take a deep breath now. Uh, we're gonna get this we're gonna make this work so yeah forge hammer gone I got another character that can do master crafting that's actually a huge help um, and uh, so all right 72 72 uh, I lost track account because uh, I was just kind of in shock that we got 32 <laughs> right on the first poll um, I know we're getting kind of lucky today. Uh, so, uh, so far, I mean, uh, I wasn't expecting uh, a Forge Hammer gone. It was a blessed gift of gods. I, I, out of all years I've played, I've never gotten anything uh, to brag about whatsoever. And uh, so, uh, I'm just in shock still over the Forge Hammer of Gone. It's just uh, so amazing right off the bat. Puts, uh, puts this whole opening in a good light. There we go, 32. All right, yeah. So, uh, we're doing really good. Okay, 128. Awesome. Okay. Wow. So there's there's the tiger. Okay. So we did it, and we got 27 left. All right. Awesome. That's amazing. So I, I think I got my uh, my money out of these 101 because I mean that that was really expensive uh, stuff. I traded for them, but uh, you know those those companion packs sell for that much. So uh, I think it was about an even fair trade. So. Here we go, we're on the wizard now, and uh, we're gonna get through his stuff real quick, and he's got all the lock boxes we're gonna open. All right, we're gonna open up 345 merchant prints lock boxes in just a short amount of time here as the grand finale to this big opening everything video. And I got my hopes up because uh, we've been pretty lucky so far, so I, I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't hit a legendary reward in I don't know how many times now, it feels like maybe a year or something of opening lock boxes. I do this every double refinement. Okay, I'm opening these so fast you can't even see what's coming out, but you can see on the side. Uh, okay, so there we go. There's, there's my XP rewards. You get the idea. Um, I, I just opened those real quick. We're trying to get to these Merchant Prince lock boxes, right? Um, and uh, we're running out of time here. We're running out of the clock. Um, so uh, we got to get these open before the event ends, and we got a lot more stuff to open. And I don't just have to open up the mushroom lock boxes. I got to open up the packs that come out of it to double all the refinement stones that come out of you know uh, all all the packs that you get, right? So it's going to take a little bit longer than just opening the lock boxes. Hey, another celestial mantle. So there's the gift of the gods here. So so we're trying to pick up the pace here. 
and uh, this is getting good. But like I was saying, uh, okay, I have Lathander, that's pretty much a useless artifact, but okay, thank you very much. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, yeah, I haven't had a legendary uh, reward out of these lockboxes in I don't even know how many times. It's been a really long time, so uh, I guess I can't expect it. Uh, maybe the drop rate's gone down. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't know. I feel lucky. I've been doing awesome today. Um, I, I, I'm really happy so far with what we opened, and we haven't opened a single lockbox, so that's why I'm feeling good about this. Uh, even without a single legendary reward, which is always what you're hoping for opening lockboxes, uh, I feel like we're gonna do great. I already got the other two tigers I needed to, to get upgraded, and uh, I don't know how many companion packs we might get out of these 345 merchant print lockboxes, but they do have them in here, which is why I picked these. Um, uh, among the other fact that it has the T-Rex, if I do get the legendary mount, that is the one I want, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna sell that, I'm gonna be riding that guy. Yeah, so um, we'll see what happens, okay? I'm not going to hold my breath for the T-Rex because, like I said, I haven't been lucky in a long time. But, uh, yeah, so if we get even more companion packs, I got more uh, companions, especially uh, there's uh, one on the Paladin that's still epic and he needs to go uh, legendary and... Um, also on my great weapon fire, I think there's two more that need to go from epic to legendary. And you know, he's he's always had just like one legendary uh, companion, and that's all he needed. He's like, no, this is the one for me. This is the one I want to have out, and I'm good. And so the other ones, you know, kind of had more more uh, companions go legendary, and he didn't have as much. So uh, he, he kind of got shorted. Now they changed the system. You got to have five legendary companions. Uh, in addition, well, four legendary companions in addition to the legendary companion you have out running around with you. Uh, so he kind of got shorted on that and the companions I got that um, I can make all legendary or close to all legendary don't, you know, they're not exactly the companions I would pick for the bonuses uh, on there. They're getting picked right now because of the legendary bonus and so it would be even better if they were they had the bonus that would be the best for that character and be legendary. So that's the ultimate goal here. That's where I'm sick of uh, uh, people, everybody's running around with, you know, not the best option here, but just kind of making do with this new system that hit us um, not too long ago and we're trying the best we can to get everything upgraded and changed around and we're trying to adapt to uh, this whole new system. I mean. Uh, if you thought it was just these rank 14s that came out uh, and these ultimate enchantments, that's actually only half of it. I mean, the other half is these companions. And it doesn't seem as obvious, so I'm bringing it up just in case you missed it. Not only do we need all rank 14s everywhere, uh, but we also need uh, the right companions with the right bonuses, all legendary, on your, on your character for him to be at his maximum potential. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I'm tired of it. That's what I'm trying to get here. I'm kind of going nuts on these companion packs. Uh, I don't usually spend over three million in trade on something unless it's really important, and that's what I spent to get the 101 companion packs in addition to getting these um, lock boxes. These lock boxes, oh my gosh, I didn't have any merchant prints lock boxes. I had to spend I think about 760,000 diamonds just to get these lock boxes. I got 999. Right, I only have 345 keys, so we can't open them all. But uh, that seemed to be the best deal, I guess. I mean, because I'm going to open more later. I figured, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, that, these Merchant Prince lock boxes are by far the most expensive lock boxes I have ever seen. They're crazy. Okay, because that T-Rex mount is so important. Okay, if you want to do the Tomb of Nine Gods or the Cradle of the Death God, being able to consume a soul, right? Those souls come out and they mess you up in that final fight every time and then you fail. But if your T-Rex can help consume one, that's one down, okay? All right, because that's his power, okay? He lowers defenses uh, if it's a, a boss, but if it's a minion, he just straight up consumes him and he's done. Okay, so we figured out if you consume a soul, 
boom, then that's one soul less you have to take out and you've got a very short time to take those out before uh, those souls get on the scoreboard. Now here's some chests. I got chests from Omu and I got chests from uh, uh, Cholt. Uh, Grave Striker plus four. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I did not ever get anything good out of these. I was just opening it for the refinement. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. I can't believe I just got that. Okay, I am on a roll today, people. This is so cool. Thank you. Oh! Two, uh, oh man, two Grave Strikers. Two Grave Strikers plus four. Oh man, let's see, what is it? Power and crit and double offense. Okay, my characters just got way more powerful. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for rings like this from anywhere this, since this campaign started in Chult. I, oh my gosh, I've been using uh, rings with defense slots and I mean, you know, th that's okay, but you know, uh, my DPS is shrunk. Uh, on both my my wizard and my uh, great weapon fighter since this troll campaign started because you know the rings I had double offense rings before and then uh, the rings went up to 500 from like 435 maybe if you had a legendary ring from before there was uh, double uh, offense slots so you had to say look uh, you know going up to 500 no way that's that's more I gotta I gotta take the ring with the defense slot but I knew they had rings that had double offense, okay, and I've just been waiting and, and trying so hard to get these. Okay, they, there they are. I just got two. Wow. Uh, actually, I have one uh, that I'm wearing, and uh, I forget what it's called, but it's got armor penetration and crit. Uh, and that was a really cool ring. I just got that like a week ago, maybe. So, uh, But power and crit, I mean, that's the ultimate find right there. So that is just amazing. It's got a, it, those have the, the special power. I think it's uh, you're above 85% health. You get another uh, uh, 800 power, right? So wow, those are so cool, uh, man. Okay, so I, I think I, I don't know if those work on the companion. I'm probably going to use those on my companion, and then all my characters are bound to account. Okay, so all my characters will be able to benefit from those rings I just got. So that is super cool. Because uh, I'm sharing, I'm sure you can share companion equipment, alright? I'm sharing companion equipment. So, alright, now I'm opening all this stuff. Um, I had so many uh, Quartermaster's rewards. My inventory was getting bogged down. You can see stuff going into my overflow bag, so I had to clean that out. But here we go. Wish me luck. Here we go. 345 lock boxes. There we go. Expedition companion packs, what I want. So, right off the bat, we're getting those. That's definitely a good sign. Okay? So here we go, keep them coming. We have lots of trade bars. No, oh, not on that one, but okay, 10, 10, 10. Good, good, good. Uh, always good to get trade bars. Um, so, uh, wow, so now it's also um, double guild marks right now. I don't know, we're running out of time, but the reason I picked these is because they have companion packs and um, stronghold packs. They don't have the Quartermaster's Profession Packs. Uh, that's okay, but they don't have uh, any of those uh, icky packs. I forget what they call it, but they have like, you know, uh, those adventure packs them with the potions, and then you might get a scroll mass life. Everybody hates those, those are like junk rewards. There's none of those in here, so that's cool. Uh, the mount packs, uh, aren't as good as the uh, ones from the lockbox of the lost but I'm not I'm not here to open these for those mount packs those are just for uh, rare mounts um, jungle mount jungle cat mount pack not interested in those but um, you can always sell them that's why I'm bringing that up that I sold the other ones they sell for way more than these jungle cat mount packs so like you can kind of recycle the stuff out of here if you don't need it which is uh, what, what I like about these lock boxes. You take what you need, and then uh, you can recycle what you what you don't need, and kind of get uh, a refund on your expenses, if you will. Which I'm going to need because I spent seven hundred and sixty thousand diamonds just to get these lock boxes. I, I mean, I don't think I've ever bought lock boxes in my life uh, at all. And here I go spending, um, you know, three quarter over, over three quarters of a million diamonds. Oh my gosh! So pretty crazy. So. All right, well, we're doing good. Um, 
Doing good, doing good. Lots of uh, companion packs and stronghold packs. Uh, I'm nervous that I'm going to make <laughs> the cutoff to actually turn in the stronghold packs. Cause we are really running out of time here uh, for this event. I got to get all this stuff open, and it's more important, in my opinion, uh, to. Oh, Calvary Tyrannosaur! Ah, all right. Well, you know, that's not the one I was looking for, but that one's cool. Um, that's, uh, yeah, that's an awesome mount. Wow. Okay, I will take that. Not a problem. I will take the Calvary Tyrannosaur. I do not, I've never gotten that before. So, awesome. He's a, he's a huge kick butt mount. So, all right. Um, wow. Well, that, that's cool. I mean, we haven't seen anything epic or, or legendary or anything so far. So, there we go. There we go. We broke the ice. So I was pretty happy with just all the uh, companion packs we've been pulling out of here and uh, the whole thing. So you know, there we go, see more and more and more. And we're getting all these Warden Enchantment packs. Um, lots of Jungle Mount packs, whatever. Like I said, we don't really need those, but it's good. We're gonna get a little refund on our crazy expenditure here. And, well, hey, Tame Velocifer after. Oh, uh, cool. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a pretty cool companion. Was like, is that, that's the part of the pack one. So it's 1% uh, damage, and then if anybody else in the party has one, it, it starts uh, building on each other. So um, it's kind of cool. Everybody has one. I don't think you have to have them out either. Just if you have them slotted at all, and then it, it stacks on each other. Uh, and uh, I mean, come on, a Velociraptor, that's, uh, how can you go wrong with one of those, right? Uh, so, cool, all right, so we got, cool, we got a Tyrannosaur and a Velociraptor. Uh, those are like the cool, two coolest dinosaurs. Um, pretty awesome. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I've opened these uh, Merchant Prince lockboxes before, I didn't get anything, I mean, like, nothing. So, I'm already doing way, way better. I got two of the Epic Rewards. Uh, where before I got none, so, <laughs> uh, oh, I got another one, cool, all right, uh, I like the big dinosaur, uh, display there, the big, uh, when you get the epic war, that's, that's pretty cool, all right, so more companion packs, um, yeah, we're getting a lot of companion packs, which is good, I, I got so many companions I need to fix, Need to get them upgraded and switched around and get the right ones where they need to go so i mean even if i got like just all companion packs on every last uh box we open here probably still gonna need more so bring it on give me all you got that's all i can say but hey yeah we're getting lots i like it i like it keep it coming so all right well uh we're getting down to it i guess so uh I feel super lucky what we got so far. Forge Hammer gone. I mean, I didn't even come out of a, a lockbox. And uh, we got some really awesome stuff so far. Oh, another Team Velociraptor. So there you go. What is that, like three now? Cool. All right. So three, three, uh, <laughs> three companions, one mount, one Forge Hammer gone. I, I mean, uh, the Merchant Prince lockbox is, oh, another one. Oh, I was going to say they're cheating because they're using the four camera gone to, to beef up the results, but I, I don't think they're cheating anymore. We got four Velociraptors and one Calvary Tyrannosaur mount. That, wow, I don't know if I've ever gotten that many epic rewards out of one lockbox session. And we, we got uh, we got some good lockboxes. 345 isn't like the most I've ever opened though, but that's some serious epic rewards. So. Oh my gosh! Legendary Tyrannosaur back! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Yes! I didn't believe it! I have gotten a Legendary Award in so long! And this is the T-Rex pack! Wow! I have done it! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Oh wow! I'm so glad I opened these! Oh my gosh! I can't believe this! I cannot believe I just pulled that! Oh my gosh! This is totally my day! Wow! Okay! Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not. We don't. We just had the the last few. Oh my gosh! You get down to the last few, it, it never happens, right? 
Okay, wow. Well, the Merchant Prince uh, said, hey, you can do it. Doesn't matter how many you got left. T-Rex, don't ever give up. Oh, another table also up there. That's just icing on the cake right there. Okay. Oh, and another Expedition Companion Pack. Great way to end it. Great way to end it. Oh, my gosh. So we got 70. All right, we just pulled another 70 out of there. And we got one, we got five Velociraptors. <laughs> and, uh, and then, then the T-Rex and the Calvary Tyrannosaur. Whew. Legendary Tyrannosaur pack. The most expensive legendary mount ever. And the most expensive lock boxes ever. So, whew. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just, I can't believe it. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, well, we got to open these. We're running out of time. Okay, um, we got to get all this stuff doubled, all these, um, all this refinement. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just say wow. And uh, what, what was that? Did I just, uh, I just saw something, something go by. Uh, so I'm not even paying attention. I'm just, I'm in shock from, from. Okay, it was a shadow clad. So okay, I thought I saw something. That was kind of cool. Okay, oh, two brilliant diamonds. Nice. Nice. See, this is why we open this stuff during double refinement stones, okay? Because when you do get it, you get it twice, okay? Uh, double rank sevens, double black. Oh, oh, another two brillion diamonds. Okay, we are on a roll today. This is so awesome. Oh, another two. Okay. 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 I don't even, okay, another two. I was gonna say, I don't even think I need any more now. I'm just so uh, elated from the legendary pack and everything else. Uh, and these have these have the Fey in them too. So it's either moderate shadow pad or moderate Fey. And I mean, that's uh, those are some pretty sweet and uh, and shams. I know there's moderate, but uh, you know that's those, those are some some sweet enchantments. So. So there you go. Unfortunately, those don't get uh, doubled. It's only the refining stones. But uh, looks like we're pulling, and we pulled four and two so far. Another two brilliant diamonds. Wow, those are big, big refinement. I mean, you know how many times I've ran Fang Breaker Island, just hoping to score one of those. Like when it first came out. Oh my gosh, they would never drop. Now how many did we just pull? I don't even know. I lost count. Oh. Okay. Wow, I like these Merchant Prince lock boxes. I mean, uh, even if we hadn't pulled that T-Rex, there's just some sweet stuff coming out of here and plenty of it. So I'm definitely liking these Merchant Prince lock boxes. I think it was worth paying uh, a ridiculous amount for them. Um, uh, and another two brilliant diamonds. Nice way to end it. So uh, those were those packs, the warded packs. <sighs> Lost artifact equipment packs. We got 80 of these babies, so let's go. What's in here? Whew, okay, open these up. So now these are superior enchanting stones. Now these, uh, I think, do get doubled, right? So, and uh, all the sapphires. And it's kind of like we're getting out of mind, so I'm not exactly sure how to do the math there, but uh, it's getting doubled somehow. I don't know exactly how they work it out. <laughs> But uh, there you go, and, this, and these are where you get the cubes of augmentation. You need those whenever you um, upgrade uh, your artifact weapons. So always like having lots of those around. Uh, you, you burn through them so quick. So uh, it's definitely good to stockpile 100, maybe even 200 or more. Especially if you're more, if you, especially if you have more than one character. Okay, I have like four characters. Oh. Demogorgon's girdle. Oh my gosh. It was epic too. Did you just see that? That is sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't need those. Uh, my Gorbon fighter already has one. He's the only one that uses it. But wow. That's going to sell for like, I don't even know how much. That's awesome. That's a great, great find for something to sell. Wow. Um, or trade. So... Wow, okay, it just keeps coming out of these lock boxes, or, or everything I've opened today has just been amazing. So, uh, I'm just really grateful. Um, this has really been my lucky day. I haven't had any luck like this in a, such a long time. So, I am just so grateful. 
Oh, here we go. We're filling up my <laughs> overload bag as we speak. I don't care. I'm not even going to stop. I'm just going to keep going. We're running out of time. Uh, so we just got to go for it here. Um, all right. Well, that, there we go. We're done anyway. Um, now, these companion packs I don't need on this character. Uh, we're going to have to go to um, probably my Paladin first or my Great Weapon Fighter. Okay, I have my Great Weapon Fighter we should definitely go to first. Uh, so we cut over to him, in case you didn't see that. Add him to the other ones, we got 97. So we had 70 plus 27. 97, and uh, he's got uh, two more epic companions he's got to upgrade. So I don't know if we're going to pull this off. We got 97, and I'm hoping to get two more for him and one more for the Paladin. Oh, there was 32. Okay, so we're off to a good start here. Get another 32. Okay, how many we got? We got 127. Oh my gosh. So, okay, we already had some, I think we had some overkill, so we just got one. Boom, that was awesome. So now we gotta get one more. I think we might be able to pull this off. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this is like my day and then some. Woo, all right. T-Rex, Forgehammer gone. All my companions upgraded. Well, there's still, even, even after all these companion upgrades, I'm still gonna need a few more, but wow, this is a major step forward. Uh, those two Grave Striker rings. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting those. I just had those uh, those chests just for like, I, I figured I was gonna open those up in a few seconds just for some extra refinement, and then boom. Oh, a crab. Cool, all right. Epic Companion coming out. Uh, there you go. Uh, I was getting tired of Phase Spider and Hawk. Those are just like uh, overkill companions. So there's, there you go, there's another Hawk. Uh, but that crab's pretty cool. All right, um, he's not the most awesome panning I've ever, ever seen, but he's he's pretty cool, very snippy. So, uh, all right, we got a few more to go. Keep going. Thirty-two. There we go. Is that is that enough? Two forty-one. Okay, there we go. I mean, that's that's nailing it. We were one over. That's so close. I mean, usually it's like either too short or too much. Just usually overkill, if anything. Okay, we got forty-one more. Okay, are we gonna make it on the paladin? We got. We're running out of time, and we got uh, guild marks to get too. I don't know if we're gonna make it. To the skin of our teeth with those guild marks. I'm not worried about it though. I mean, it'd be nice at this point. It's gonna be a nice bonus if we can get those in. But here we go. We got uh, one more companion. We got to get for the for the paladin here. If we can pull this off. So, all right, two, two, two. We got a hawk. Whatever. Okay. Wow, well, if we get this on the pallet, this is just going to be like the extra, extra decoration frosting on the cake. Oh, there's a crab. All right, another crab. We got two crabs. There's 32. All right, we just might do it. So we got 196. Okay, so he's already got some for the, the tiger, right? So he's got to get 240. But uh, we're doing good. He had to overkill, and, uh, and now we're getting it. We got that 32. We got 15 left. We were at 210. Okay, all right. So, uh, so two ten. So, oh, okay. So we need thirty more. Yeah, and we got fifteen. We're so we got just enough. Even if we only get two out of each one, we got just enough. Two twenty, right? Yeah, and we got ten left. There's two in each one, so that's twenty more. So even if we don't score the thirty-two, we're good. I don't believe it. We made it. We're gonna get. We got the two on the uh, Grey Bone Fighter, and we're even going to get the other one on the Paladin. I was not expecting this other one on the Paladin this soon. Oh, Stalwart Golden Lion, and the last pack we opened. Awesome, awesome finish. Wow. Okay, this has just been the most beautiful uh, opening everything I've ever done. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as much as I did. That was amazing. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, leave any comments, and you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. I gotta turn in my guild marks. Thank you so much for watching.